Orgasmic Enlightenment, where the sexual and spiritual come together. I'm Kim Anami, and I'm a holistic sex and relationship coach and a vaginal weightlifter. In this show, we explore all things intimate. I believe that our sexual energy is life force, creative energy, and we can use it to shape our worlds, strengthen our relationships, and self-actualize. I blend the most avant-garde information from neuroscience, ancient sexual practices like Tantra and Taoism to renegade wellness modalities to show you how to create gourmet sex in your lives. Come one, come all. Super cock, harder, wilder, and more potent erections. I have known men in their 60s and 70s who still had raging erections, and I know plenty of 20-somethings who have been on Viagra for years. What makes one erection legendary and the other limp? First off, you have to understand that the cock is the extension of the man. If the man is strong and powerful and truly showing up in his life, he also shows up in his cock. Potency breeds potency. The cock is the barometer for the man's psychological state and his physical health. Even in allopathic medical circles, a man's erection is known as the canary in the coal mine. If the cock is flagging and showing signs of poor health, such as weak erections, it's often a sign of poor health in the overall man and even an indicator for heart issues. A man who is living in his true power in all parts of his life also fully occupies his cock and becomes a super cock, the kind of cock that is relentless and can fuck all night. It can bring a woman to heights of orgasms, literally screaming as she comes, as one of my clients once said. It's confident of its place in the world and in a woman. So how do you get one of these all-performance super cocks? In my nearly 30-year career of doing this work, I have never, ever once suggested a man take Viagra. I have gotten plenty of men off of it, though, and restored their natural state of raging hard cock. Here are 10 things you can do to have wickedly hard, full, strong, raging erections and grow one of my favorite things in the world, a super cock. The first is use it or lose it. If you are in between relationships, it's important that you stay connected to your sexual energy. Most guys don't need to be encouraged to self-pleasure, but if you aren't, then start. And if you are, I bet you can do it better. And here's what I mean by that. When most guys have sex or masturbate, they end up feeling tired afterward. The right way to self-pleasure is in a way that makes you feel revitalized after. The big barometric question I always ask people is, does sex leave you feeling energized, rejuvenated, deeply pleasured, and like it changed your life? If not, then you're doing it wrong. Sex is meant to revitalize, not deplete you. I suggest that you have a minimum three times a week self-pleasuring practice and to do it in a way that actually hacks your hormones, building more dopamine and testosterone in the process. By practicing some simple techniques, you can do this. Check out my how to last longer in bed video on YouTube and I will walk you through exactly how to do this. And this is something I also teach people to do in my sexual mastery for men salon. So not only will you be strengthening your erectile powers, you'll also be giving yourself an overall energy and testosterone boost. Like I always say, I don't do coffee except up my ass. I do orgasms. Number two would be to reduce or eliminate porn. Excessive porn use creates an addictive-like dependence where you need greater and greater degrees of stimulation and intensity to get the same payoff. The whole process saps your dopamine and your testosterone, which means weaker and even non-existent erections over time. The largest growing demographic for Viagra users is teenage boys. Recent studies have shown that around 30% of boys 
boys age 16 to 21 have issues with erectile dysfunction, i.e. daily porn viewers. <laughs> They've got nothing left. So go easy on the stuff or better yet, remove it from your life and focus instead on cultivating your energy, your sexual energy to be able to channel that into your life instead of just dumping it out. And the techniques that I mentioned earlier will enable you to do this. Third suggestion would be to release stress daily and not just through jerking off. So stress increases your levels of cortisol and decreases your testosterone. Stress makes erections droop. And truthfully, a chronically aggro, tense, and anxious man will make a woman go dry as well. You need to have daily outlets where you can relieve stress and better channel that energy, such as meditation. Meditation actually changes the physical structure of your brain within eight weeks of starting a daily practice. The results, decreased stress, decreased depression, anxiety, pain, and insomnia, and an improved quality of life. Exercise. Not only will exercise and working out relax you and calm your mind and get you high because of all the amazing neurotransmitters and hormones released, but it will also build you a bigger and stronger cock. Weight training or HIIT training increase your dopamine and testosterone significantly, which are essential cock building blocks. Next up would be minimize or eliminate alcohol and cigarettes. Alcohol might lower your inhibitions, but it will also lower your potency. Moderate to heavy alcohol use sets off a chain of chemical reactions that all contribute to diminishing your erectile power. In short, it disrupts the chemical supply chain you need to create and maintain a strong erection. It diminishes nitric oxide, dopamine, and testosterone. Cigarettes also decrease blood flow and they damage the elastic erectile tissue so your cock can't expand as large. Yes, cigarettes actually shrink your cock by as much as one centimeter. <laughs> your fifth tip would be sleep. Your waking sleep patterns govern the timing and release of your hormones. If you aren't getting enough sleep or if it's very irregular, it can confuse your system. By sticking to a regular sleep rhythm, you'll optimize your hormones. And know this, one hour of sleep before midnight is the equivalent to two hours after. So if you go to sleep at 10 p.m. and you get up at 4 a.m., you've actually had eight hours of sleep. There you go. Less sleep and more time to act on that morning wood. I have a great video on morning sex, which you can check out on my YouTube channel. Next point would be to solidify your relationship. When your relationship is solid, your cock will be solid. Guys often don't make the connection that their erection has anything to do with their arousal. <laughs> Meaning, if you're in the middle of a rough patch with your partner, that will often be reflected in your erection. It may not be as responsive or as strong. Guys have been programmed to believe that they ought to be able to get erections anytime, anywhere. And truthfully, if you follow my suggestions, you can. But in general, the erection doesn't lie. If you aren't getting along with your lover and your erection is lackluster, well, then you have your answer. Once you deal with and resolve any underlying issues between you, you'll find that your erection returns in full force. So years ago, a friend of mine was chatting with me and he was kind of excited, like he'd broken up with his partner, which whatever, I guess he was over it. So, and he was out there playing the field and he was sleeping with no less than four or five different women. And he came to me and he's like, you know, I'm really, I'm really concerned because I'm having some erectile problems. I've never had this before. And I'm like, oh, well, tell me more. And he said, well, you know, like four of these women, I, I don't know, like I, uh, I'm not really that into them, but like whatever, but I'm having issues with all of them. But the one woman that I really like, I'm not having these issues with her and I can't understand what it is. <laughs> like, fuck face, listen to yourself. Like, what are you saying right now? And I had to actually walk him through it. Like he really couldn't piece this together on his own. 
Next up would be herbs. There are some very powerful cock herbs out there. Unlike Viagra, these herbal remedies are free of dangerous side effects and they work to long-term restore and heal rather than just provide a temporary band-aid like Viagra. These herbs not only give you stronger erections, but they work on other levels as well. Most libido and cock strengthening herbs have overall energy boosting and even antidepressant effects on your system. Win, win. Here are a few of the heaviest hitters. Ginseng, long considered a tonic and revitalizer of the whole body, ginseng boosts metabolism, optimizes hormone balance, increases energy and libido, reduces stress, and cures impotence. It's also been found to improve copulatory performance. Amen. Saffron. Studies have revealed saffron to be not only a powerful aphrodisiac and erection booster, but also an antidepressant. Whilst comparing the effects of saffron to Prozac on mild to moderately depressed people, the results were identical. Saffron causes a person's heart to be happy. This is a quote from a traditional Chinese medicine text from the Mongol dynasty. Look at that. A happy heart and a happy cock. See, anything that helps you to fuck better helps Helps you to live better. Our Hard Roots Herbal Tincture for Men has both saffron, one of the most prized herbs in the world, and ginseng in it. You can find this in our Anami Alchemia online shop. And we just had a new review come in the other day from a verified buyer, Tommy B. And he says, within a few days, I can tell a big improvement, much fuller and harder erections. I bought my wife the Salacious Tincture, which is the female equivalent of Hard Roots for Women, also has saffron in it and now she's having better orgasms even squirting so hard it splashes up on our chest and down to our toes we are having a blast there you go from the mouths of babes and i cannot be held responsible for all the extra laundry that you guys end up having to do Next up would be penile weightlifting. You've likely seen me and my vagina gallivanting around the world, lifting all manner of objects from tropical fruit, Venetian chandeliers, and hey, my vagina even won an Oscar. Well, guys, your cocks can lift weights as well. Having a weak pelvic floor not only leads to incontinence issues, but weakens your erections. Just like any other part of your body, it needs to be worked out. When you strengthen your pelvic floor, you not only have longer and stronger lasting erections, you have more powerful orgasms, and you can fully penetrate and pleasure your woman with your brand new super cock. Believe me, a woman can totally feel the difference between a man who works out his cock and one who doesn't, just like I'm sure you can feel the difference with a woman who has what <laughs> my friend Luke Story referred to as a voodoo pussy and someone who doesn't. So I go through a full cock weightlifting routine in my sexual mastery for men's salon. And if you haven't seen it, head over to my Instagram and check out my very special travel photos of me and my vaginas from Bali to Morocco to LA lifting weights all over the world. And watch my YouTube video, 10 Reasons to Lift Weights with Your Vagina. The reasons for cocks and vaginas are pretty much the same. Acupuncture. So there have been studies done where acupuncture cured erectile dysfunction in 40 to 75 percent of participants. Acupuncture works not only on a physical level, but on emotional and psychological levels as well, which are all important to address. And I would say, and many physicians agree, that erectile dysfunction is 90 percent psycho-emotional. The other theories and lifestyle choices I'm suggesting will support recovery, but I would say the deepest work and healing is from within. And last, but certainly not least, and possibly even most importantly, are you fucking life? How ballsy are you in your life? Do you take chances? Do you speak your mind? Do you go after what you want? Your cock is going to reflect this. People don't realize that the genitals are direct expressions of your inner being, of your true self and your nature. If you, as a man, are shrinking from life, your cock will shrink too. If you are full of courage and strength, and this is internal strength, your cock will be too. The cock is an extension of the man and your performance out in the world. There is a direct correlation between how much courage you face life with and the power of your cock and erection. 
Men who live with bravery and assertiveness have erections and cocks that reflect this. They are wickedly hard and swollen with all of that gravitas. And the opposite is true for men who cower from life. Their cocks shrink as well. So ask yourself, are you fucking life? Are you bending life over and giving it all you've got? If you are, your erection will reflect that. It will be teeming with life and size and power. Power. I had a client come to me who was concerned about his erection. He was having issues with impotence and he was only in his mid 20s, very healthy and not even that much porn use. So there was really no good reason for this to be happening to him. So I was asking him, are you fucking life? Are you throwing it down on the bed and taking what's yours? Since we know the cock is the extension of the man, I asked about his work and he had a job where he felt like his talents weren't being fully recognized. He felt held back. So we spoke about him talking to his bosses about a promotion or a different position that would better showcase his talents. So he did. A few weeks later, he came back and he had not only gotten the promotion, but was being transferred to another city to start up a new branch office. He was ecstatic. I asked him again, so are you fucking life now? And he smiled and he said, I'm bending it over, slamming it into the headboard and pounding the shit out of it. Star client. The more you show up in life, the more you'll show up in your cock. The cock tells you everything. The men who are the most ferociously sexual and have potent erections live potent lives. They are confident in exercising power in their existence. They are kings and so are their cocks. And this is attainable for every man with some discipline and focus. If you'd like to learn more cock superpower tips, check out my Sexual Mastery for Men Salon, the ultimate sexual training program for men. In it, we dive into building erectile strength and power, increasing cock size, yes, it's possible, stamina building, learning how to separate orgasm from ejaculation, how to occupy more of your masculine energy in life and in bed, how to give your woman deeper vaginal orgasms like cervical, G spot and have her ejaculate across the room and how to use your sexual energy channeling it into your life to boost everything from your woman's happiness to your bank balance yes great sex equals more cash so you can find the salon under my sexual savant salons on my website kimanami.com registration is open now are you coming Thank you so much for listening. If you haven't already, subscribe and also leave a review and send someone else the gift of a healthy libido and an off the charts love life by sharing this episode with them. We'll be back next week. And in the meantime, many happy orgasms.